Hey everyone, welcome to Two Cents. I'm John Timmerman, and it is winter. Jovi is hiding under there because the snow is too deep for her to go on a walk. So here's Jax. There's our normal trail, but I'm gonna stand here because Jovi doesn't want to go anywhere. Uh, so it's been a while, had a good Thanksgiving, took some time off from social media for the most part, but I'm back and I'm back to these episodes. So Good Monsters creating a large piece of content about B2B and B2C marketing in the new year in 2020 and some of the best practices for you guys out there who are business leaders to grow your companies. And I wanted to take the time in two cents to talk about the two largest issues that B2B companies and then separately B2C companies have when creating their growth strategies. So with B2B companies, the biggest issue that we see from incoming clients and prospects is that they don't think marketing or brand building is going to be a good investment. When in reality, marketing is going to drive their sales team forward. It's gonna make it easier for their sales team to sell and it will stand alone as its own inbound revenue generation channel. Because when it comes down to it, even though it's business to business, it's still people doing business with people. There's still a decision maker or a group of decision makers They have to like your brand. They have to trust your business. So creating a brand that people already know, like, and trust is going to make it so much easier so that when somebody needs parts for their, you know, plating machine or whatever it might be, they think to go to you because they've heard of you before. So marketing and brand building is going to be the way that makes this so much easier. So, you know, let's just take a hundred thousand dollar investment over the course of a year in marketing and growing your brand is going to bring you hundreds of thousands of dollars for years to come and probably more like millions of dollars if you do a good job. It's going to make your sales team, it's going to make their job so much easier because when they walk in to ask a company if they'd like to do business with you, they'd like to hire you as a vendor, hopefully if you do a good job with marketing and brand building, they're already going to know who you are. They're already going to trust you. They're already going to hear that you're working with their competitors or whoever it might be. And so they're more likely to to accept the meeting and hear what you have to say because they trust you. So biggest issue I see with B2B companies is that they don't find value in building their own brand. Instead, they rely on word of mouth or sales and that's it. So that's a big change that we're we're going to see and we need to see in 2020. For B2C companies, this one is sort of a blanket statement because there's lots of different types of B2C companies. There's e-commerce companies, there's retail companies, there's client services companies. But the biggest issue that I see with B2C companies investing in marketing is they focus on the sale. They focus on the immediate ROI and they look at the specific campaign. Like we just got done with Black Friday. So it was all about Black Friday sales and 40% off and buy one, get one and buy two, get one or whatever it might be. And they focus so much on these short term campaigns. And that's usually the focus. The focus needs to be on storytelling and delivering actual value in the content to their potential customers. So B2C companies need to flip the script instead of thinking about the next sale, the next holiday, the next promotion, the next thing that's going to get people to pay attention from a numbers or a cost standpoint, they need to do a better job at thinking of the story first and the value given in their content. Let's take a clothing company. So of course a clothing company could show great pictures of people wearing their clothes and style and they can do Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales and all of that stuff, right? But every other company is doing the same exact thing. Instead, if they figure out that their customer is a 15 to 25 year old, you know, man, that's their main demographic and they're in the athletic space, they should be putting out more content around things that that demographic cares about. Sure, they can be wearing their clothes, but they need to be putting out nutrition advice and fitness advice and sports advice and valuable information like workouts that they can do or plans that they can follow for making themselves healthier. Possibly even putting in professional advice since they're young men, they might be looking for career advice. So starting to experiment with value added content, not just sale driven content. That's the biggest thing that I think that we see a lot of B to C companies are lacking, or at least it's in the back of their mind, not the front of their mind. This is the way consumers are making decisions today and moving forward. They want to see value before they invest their time and trust a company. And it will build more loyalty, more word of mouth. The benefits are endless. So that's just my two cents. I'm going to get back to my walk and try to go find Jovi here. I hope all of you have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.